Hello YouTube, it's Thursday, meaning that it is time for the picks of the week, week 10. First, let's review week nine. Week nine, I went eight and five. Would have done better, but the Colts actually decided to win a game and Seattle can't seem to, uh, to, to get out of their own way or something, I don't know. Could have been better. But eight and five, I will take it bringing my season total up to 76 and 56. Um, and with that, I feel pretty good, uh, to say the least. This picking games is hard, even without a spread. It could possibly be a little easier versus the spread because you can always go for the team you think has a better chance of winning, uh, but it's, it's got a lot of points against the spread type of thing. I don't know. I've never tried to pick against the spread. Because I'm not a gambler and that's obvious reasons why because uh, I don't like to watch my money burn anyways let's get on the roll for week 10 here um you're supposed to go person really you are okay anyways week 10 what do we got going on here we got the Seahawks aforementioned Seahawks going to the Cardinals now Seattle if you cannot beat the Arizona Cardinals as bad as they've been lately Lord help you. That's awful. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Seahawks because I think they should win that. The New Orleans Saints, looking much better without Adrian Peterson than they did with Adrian Peterson, is going to the Bills. Uh, Bills are an up and down team. I just can't figure them out. One week they want to be good, the next week they want to be bad. It's just terrible. So I think the Saints will go in there and win. But since last week they were terrible, this week they'll be good and the Bills will probably win. But I'm taking the Saints anyways. Packers at Bears. Normally, this game with Aaron Rodgers, people would be going, oh, you know, Packers should win by 20. Well, I think the Bears can win this game. I think they win well this game. Uh, their defense isn't that bad. Their offense, well... <coughs> If they can get a running game going, it's all over for the Packers. The Packers got nothing without Aaron Rodgers. Kind of like the Colts really have nothing without Andrew Luck. So, let me go with the Bears. And we got Browns at Lions. Will the Browns win a game? Will anyone care but Browns fans? Will Browns fans care if they win a game? I don't know. I had high hopes for the Browns turning things around and they had a great draft, but you know, it's gonna take a little bit of, you know, waiting and, and percolating and getting that all going good before they can actually do something. I think they had a great draft last year. I think they'll have another good draft this year. Maybe they'll get the quarterback of the future. Probably not the guy that was talking about not coming out because he doesn't want to play for the Browns. That'd be a bad idea. But uh, I think going to Detroit, Detroit easily wins that game. Lions uh, in a landslide. Bengals go to Titans. Are the Bengals as bad as they seem to be? I think yes. Um, if you almost lose to the Colts, that's a bad play at the end. You would have lost to the Colts. You're pretty bad. So I'm going to take the Titans on that one. Speaking of the Colts, the Pittsburgh Steelers go to Indianapolis. Which... Pittsburgh usually beats up on Indianapolis, which really takes me off. But this year, it, it should be like shooting fish in a barrel. Steelers will run, will pass, will defend, will totally annihilate my poor Colts. But then they won this past weekend, which means that they're pretty much out of the running for a top three pick, I think. Because the 49ers, the Browns, and the Giants are all trying to get that number one pick. Anyways, so Steelers easily over the Colts. What do we got next? Jets at Bucks. I want to take the Jets. But I think the Bucks without Winston are going to be a better team. I think Winston was trying too hard to look like a great NFL quarterback. Instead of just relying on the run game, some timely passing, 
and letting the game come to him. I think he was forcing things. I think the Bucks end up beating the Jets this week. Vikings go to Washington. I've got to take the Vikings in this one. I, I had high hopes for the Redskins at the beginning of the year, thinking they could actually pull something off. But it, it, it seems that they're doing the opposite of what I thought they could do. So I am going to take the, uh, the Vikings on this one. Chargers at Jags. The Jags defense is for real, people. I'm as surprised as anyone because they've been doing this, you know, buying free agent defensive guys on the offseason for years now, and it's never worked out for them. This year, things are gelling, and the Jags defense is for real. I'm taking the Jags over the Chargers. Texans. Lowly Texans without Deshaun Watson look horrible. How much of the rookie of the year is Deshaun Watson now? That, 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 my goodness, that team looked awful without Deshaun Watson against my Colts. And uh, I don't think it gets any better going against the Rams. The Rams are too good. The Rams are for real. Uh, I'll take the Rams easily over the Texans. Cowboys and Falcons. Falcons are a shell of what they were last year. Maybe it was all smoke and mirrors and pretend. They should have won that Super Bowl when they had a chance. Up by all those points. Squandered away. Because I'm not sure they're getting back. Cowboys easily over the Falcons. I think this will take them below 500 this year. Giants at 49ers. Who wins between the lowly Giants and the lowlier 49ers? I, I just don't know. It's a toss-up to me. I'm going to go with Eli Manning throwing some timely passes to win this game over the 49ers. That's the only way I see uh, uh, this game going for the Giants, and I think he'll actually do it. I'll take the Giants beating the 49ers. Pats at Broncos. I don't think this is even a question. This is Pats all the way. Broncos have no choice, no chance, but to just wish they get a good draft pick. And then we have Dolphins traveling to the Panthers. I will take the Panthers uh, in this one. And that's going to do it for me. Big D for life. I think, uh, I, I, think I, I keep forgetting to put the uh, uh, score of the Monday night game. Dolphins score 10. Panthers score 24. How's that? I don't know if we even need a tiebreaker. Uh, anyways. Like you said, Big D, I am okay with putting a little uh, something something on this between me and you. Maybe a little, maybe a little uh, care package back and forth, maybe a little bounce box, something like that. That'll be fine with me. Uh, I think it would be a great idea. Uh, anyways, that is it for me, people. I want you guys to have a great day. Remember, Faith Family Football. Peace.